What's up, guys? And today I'm going to be showing you the best quality for Cam Studio. Now, let's start off at the options. Let's go to video op. And let's see. If you're recording your desktop, you're going to want to use the Cam Studio lossless codec. Either version is fine. Um, yeah. And if you want to record footage, they're probably going to want to use DivX or the MPEG or the XVID codex. And if you configure it for the Cam Studio lossless codec version 1.4, you um, choose LZO and then level 7. And then you set the quality at 60. Yeah, I know that sounds weird. And you're not supposed to set it at 100. Um, I think the quality turns out better if you set it at 60. Always, always, always leave set keyframes every 30. And if you're um, recording your desktop, then set it at 50, 20. And if, record, and if you're recording footage again, set this at 33 and set this at 30. Okay. Now let's move um, on to the cursor options. So you can hide your cursor. You can show it. Um, you can use the custom cursor that, um, Cam Studio makes. You can use a cursor files. So all these cursors, I just like to use my normal cursor. <laughs> Let's see, you can highlight your cursor. This is the size. You can make it bigger, smaller. You can make different shapes, ellipse, square, rectangle, and you can set it. And you can make it different colors. You can set the hue, the SAT, LUM, etc., etc. Okay, let's move on now. Um, if you want to record the um audio from a microphone, just check that box off. And the audio options, okay. Um, right now this that I'm using is my rock band microphone. Pretty weird. Uh, but I don't have any other microphone. Let's see. And for this, you're su I forgot to set this. You're supposed to set it at 44.1 KHZ mono 16 bit. And this should be PCM. So just click on that. PCM. And then you should set it at this. It's the only one that I have. So might as well do. And this just all comes with it. So just leave that be. And enable auto pan. If you wanna enable it, just click that box. And you should set the the pan speed at about eighty. And I like to minimize it on recording, so I'll check that off. I don't like to hide the flashing rectangle during recording if I don't set um auto pan. Because um I like to pan sometimes if I make a video. And all of this, you can just set yourself. I don't, this is all opinion based and stuff. Chord flash op options. Um, check these two boxes off, but don't check that off. Keyboard shortcuts. This is just um, the hotkeys that you can set. Just, you can set all different kinds, whatever. There's space, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, language. I don't know if any of you speak German, but whatever. And I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.